Hello again everyone, this is Khalpek from KKCA. So you want to learn how to make water puddles and I'm here to help. So in today's video we're going to be making some water puddles in the Quicksoul Mixer and Arnold for Cinema 4D. Create a project and then just go to a library and then import custom surface. And then import your surfaces, you know, you can create your own here. You can do whatever you want to. And then once you finish doing that, you should just go here. Let me zoom in main very quickly. It's called add liquid layer. So now that we added our liquid layer, you can see that we're getting some water effects here. And we can actually change the color to whichever color we prefer. And I'm not actually gonna do that. So, and you can also have some other options like threshold and the midst. You can also play with this blur, radius, and the depth and the surface and so on and so forth and once you finish with this uh, texture over here or the surface just go to file and export to library and then you know uncheck AO and then also uncheck glossiness because glossiness is gonna be mainly exactly the same as glossiness and then just name your surface and then just click on save just wait for it go to your documents Quixel mixer library and then you can check your files there but I already have a surface ready so we can play with it in cinema 4d and yeah let's get to it so this is my surface and you can see that I have some files here I had the albedo I had the displacement metal and this is metalness and also the normal and the roughness but we're get just gonna use the albedo and uh, the roughness just to show you the effect and how you can achieve it and for the normal map and the displacement i'm gonna leave that to another video because that's pretty much self-explanatory so so here we are in cinema 4d and as you can see i have a very simple scene set up here it's just a simple plane and a camera and a physical sky i mean an arnold sky image based lighting and yeah i just want to go to create and then arnold surface standard surface oh shit sorry that's not really a standard surface arnold surfaces standard surface right and then just put it on top of this uh plane okay then just double click so just open the network editor and then import your roughness and also your albedo here like so and this is gonna be the roughness and you know there are two things you're gonna need to consider here so the opacity is just gonna go straight into the base color okay and that's just gonna give us the surface color cool and then just go to the roughness and then go search for a correct so it's just color correct Put it here and then just main input and then just output this to the specular and then color and also to this wait sorry also output this to the specular weight okay and then be sure to invert this run the IPR and here we, you can see that we are getting some water puddles and they're looking just very simple and actually not very detailed but you know we can fix this very quickly we can just go to network editor again so if you want to monitor exactly what's happening here you just go to your render settings be sure you're on set to arnold renderer and then just go to aovs and then if just search for specular and then import specular direct and indirect but for this purpose it's just gonna be the direct but I have both of them here so just go to the beauty and then change it to specular direct and you can see here our specular and if we go back to the material and we can just play with wait sorry the weight the base weight will have to be at one and the roughness is going to be controlled from here go back to the network editor and then AOR set it to your liking maybe 1.1 and if you want to change like the fall off of this effect you can just go to the gamma 
then increase or decrease and it's gonna change the fall off and you know you have some options too you can play with the contrast and you know if you go to the beauty again you can see exactly what's happening there and if you want to have a subtle effect you can change you know you can change it change the roughness here so if you want to have like a mirroring effect you should just set it to zero we want we don't want it we don't want any roughness but then again if you want to you can also you can increase this and yeah you can have such beautiful results happening here the so that's practically the end of this video and if you liked it then be sure to give it a thumbs up leave a nice comment subscribe turn on notifications you know just do some youtube stuff and i'll be sure to do the same video tutorial for physical render if, if people are actually curious to see how you can do that so yeah see you next time peace out everyone